Good morning, everybody. Today's job is a nice, easy, quick fix. Having a rest from the rest of the house, so I'm doing one outside today for a change. Today's job is I'm going to be hanging the punching bag on the back of this door. So it means that during the day when we're not using it, it can just get closed behind and then brought out. And then we'll put a clip at the top up here and one further down towards the bottom about there, just to hold the door secure when it is in use. Otherwise it'll just bounce. It's just gonna, every time you hit it, it's gonna bounce around and it's gonna be horrible. So yeah, so that's today's job. Let's get started. I thought before we started the whole job, I'd explain, or at least show you what I'll be using on today's task. I've got my bracket, which I'm going to be using to hang the punching bag off. I've got the bolts because I'm not going to screw it to the door. I'm going to bolt it through to make it secure as it can be. I've got some clips to use to hang it because it has its own mounting stuff, but that would make it too low because it's supposed to be about another two foot in the air. Uh, I've got some black tape just so I can put on the end of the drill bit so I don't drill too far. I want to drill into the wall for my support supporting. Wall plugs as normal and a whole selection of different types of screws. I've got hinges, which I'm not going to use as hinges. These are actually going to get about, which one have I got a mark on? That one there. Got a mark just there. And that is going to be bent on a 90 degree angle. So it'll go around the door and then the bottom hole will go onto a clip. Which will be enough to support the door for the purpose that I'm using it for. Right, so all I need to do now is get it done. Right, so the first thing I need to do is work out where I need to be at. So I'm gonna have to put it in the center. So I'm gonna go right up as high as I can. So let's see if you can see that. Just about, let's tilt you up a little bit. There we go. So I'm gonna put it right up there. That's about as high as I'm gonna be able to go with the door jam. Now I just need to get my Sharpie. Right, that's enough of a mark. Now I'll grab my drill and I shall quickly just drill these out. and clean. Right, so that's all drilled out now. Now I need to get my bolts. Which are these? I've got a, a nylon threaded top on one of them, which is a, we all call lock nuts. Let's poke it through. That's one. One thing I forgot to do was on the back of it, they've actually got square backs. 
So I just need to hammer them in quickly. Well, I'll quickly get these pushed in. I'll be back in a moment. Right, as you can see, I've put this bit in now already. Now I'm just going to get my punch bag and get that lifted up. Everything's the right way around. I want you to be facing forward just like that. And now give it a quick tighten up. Perfect. And now you can hear what I want to stop. Right. Next job is to get the hooks on now. Or my supports and if you want to call on that, on the other side. Let's get that bit sorted now. Right, I've had a change of plan. I'm not going to use the hinges now. I'm actually going to use these instead. That's what it looks like. So they sort of bounce out a little bit. And I'm going to use this wood on the long ways. So I've got myself some very long screws. Can't remember how long they are now. I think they are four inch screws. Maybe fives. And I'm going to go straight through and I'm going to put this long ways against the side. So I've worked out how far I need to take it. I need to basically take it the entire thread of the screw. So I'm going to get my tape. So I'm using, I've got myself a brand new drill sponsored by Robinsons of Canforth. So I'm going to take that much off. And I'm going to sit my drill bit down the floor for a second. So I need to go into there. I think that was about right. Put that on there. That's too much. Let's start. Okay. That's too much is that. I need to do that one again. I've got a drill bit on the wood next to my screw, so I've got a better idea how deep I need to go. I'm going a little bit deeper than I need to. Right, so that's all marked up now. Okay, so I'm going to get this out of the way. That's all cleared now. Right, so I've got my pieces of wood all cut down. So there they are there. I've also piloted them as well. So they've got holes going through for the screws that's needed. So I need to put this on here. Let's see where I need to be at. So something like that is what it's gonna look at, look like, sorry. And I'll get, that's already marked up already. And I've now got my holes, so, I know where my holes are going to be drilled. So let's have a look, see what this drill can do. Well, 
Okay, so as you can see, there's my black tip. I've gone as far as I need to, so I don't need to drill more than I have to. That's that one out. I'll get a plug in there quickly, so it's done. That's one done. Second one. That's all drilled out now. So I've got my piece of wood. Right, that is going nowhere. So I'll just try it out. Well, that looks about right. It's just set in a little bit, which is wonderful. Grab my, one of these. So that's now going to sit on that. Let's move you around a little bit so you can see a bit clearer. There we go. That's going to sit on there. And it's just going to slide in. So I need something roughly like that. Yeah. That's going to mark the top hole. If I've got the top hole, I can work the rest out from there. Let's get this door shut. Right, so I've got you moved over now. Door's nice and shut. I'm just going to quickly pilot this one with a screw. Okay, that's that. Get my first one on. Nice and level. Now for normal surfaces, these screws are overkill. But for the purpose I'm using it for, I think overkill is never a bad idea. I'm also not putting them all the way in at the moment until I've made sure it's until they're all in. Perfect. Let's see where I need to be on the other side. Okay, so that's on. That needs to go down there. Now there is actually a little keeper on it. It's this little thing here. So I'll put that underneath. I'll up you come. Okay, so I'm going to quickly just get all that put in quickly. I'll be back with you in a moment. Right, as you can see, I've already got the top one fitted now. 
I went ahead and did that one off camera and I've got the bottom one all fitted in. So now that is nice and securely, which is fantastic. All I need now to do is, I'll oh, stop this wobbling around a little bit now. So I think I might put a catch on, uh, a screw in there and one on the other side and just use a bungee cord to go around it just to hold it a little tighter. So I'm gonna go in my shed and see what I've got. Right, so I've got myself some of these, some of these, and I'm just going to screw, so I'll see where it's gonna to need to be at. So do one here, yeah, I'll do one about there. I might even just be able to put some rope over it, not a bungee. Okay, now I seem to do one on the other side. Back in a moment. Right, so they're both in now. And now I'm just going to go and find something to tie this down with. Right, I've got myself some rope. Standard rope this way is nothing fancy about it. And just going to pull that tight. Just so I know it's not going to move anywhere. Let's get back down to where it's supposed to be. That works. Okay. That's good. slide knot in it. It's not going to go in much places. Like that. And there we go. That is the job jobbed. I'll quickly have a show you around what we've done. So obviously we've got the hooks in there to stop the door from moving back and forwards. There's a little bit of play in it, but that's okay. We did the bracket at the top, which is going to hold this. I'm oh, sorry. That's going to hold this quite nicely. And we've got the rope going around it. So now when we unhook it, come on, that's one up, that's two up. It actually goes with the door nicely and the door's shut. Right, that is that job done. Right, if you like these type of videos, any type of, vi all the videos that we've done so far in the series of making a house a home, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and remember to ring that little bell so you get notified when the new video launches. And we'll see you next week.